we had a girl, she was eight when she came in. Um, the mom had, for, for two years prior to coming to see me, she couldn't sleep. And so they brought her to every specialist everywhere. They had, family had means and I start testing this little girl's brain to her cells, right? You can imagine just connections. She has some disconnects. We start fixing stuff, but she wasn't changing in her sleep. It just, something was there that I was missing. So I'll never forget, I'm in the room one day with them and I look over at the mom and I said, did something emotional happen to her two years ago? And when I'm telling you, the mom lost it. It was like, just, she started crying uncontrollably. It was her mom. Oh, wow. The little girl was so close to the grandmother. She had her grandmother's perfume on the side of her bed. And so every night she'd either go to bed and either smell that perfume, maybe see a picture of grandmother and it would offset her subconscious and she couldn't sleep. So we actually took the perfume in the room and all the nerves I was checking, the connections are all turned off. She got extraordinarily weak. It was like kryptonite from for the Su perfume. Hmm? It's like kryptonite for Superman. And we strengthened the nervous system up to the perfume. And we took a picture of grandmother and strengthened her to grandmother. Because she, when somebody dies, you can't hug them anymore. Hmm. There's no more physical. But that's where her poor little nervous system was. So we did one treatment. The little girl's been sleeping fine ever since. It's, that's how powerful the nervous system is. All right, hold on. So when she smelled it, was it activating like grief for a certain state, risk, loss? It was more subconscious for her. Because when I asked her, did you know you sad about your grandma? No, I'm not, I'm fine. Consciously, mm. she was fine. Subconsciously, she was not. 